today I'm going to talk to you about conjecture fallacy. So what is conjecture fallacy? So basically, conjecture fallacies is when in given circumstances, people think the two or more predictions in conjunctions are more probable to be true than just one of those things. Now, the most often cited example is this. Now, if you pick the second one, which is two predictions happens in conjunction, you committed conjunction fallacy. However, my favorite example is this guy. The lady insists. You're a governess. Well done. One prediction? Good. He really should have stopped there. He's Danny, uh, sorry, Sherlock. He just can't get it out of himself. However, the jewels you are not wearing tell us rather more. Holmes. You were engaged. The ring has gone, but the lighter skin where it once sat suggests that you spent some time abroad wearing it proudly. That is, until you were informed of its true and rather modest worth, at which point you broke off the engagement and returned to England for better prospect. So what happened when you committed conjunction fallacy? Not bad. Well, I guess a glass of red wine in your face is not that bad. So, in conclusion, what can we learn from conjunction fallacy? Absolutely nothing.